Uh, hi, I'm Nancy Rawlinson, and I love to make stuff. And one of the things I've really gotten into lately is using small fabric scraps. I save thread, I save uh, hems, ribbons in the top that they're used to sort of hang things up. I always cut those out and put those in my stash. Oh. This one actually is from one of those uh, shirt things. <laughs> That's such the ribbon there. I didn't didn't buy that. I cut that thread or you know cut that piece off. Then I just stick it in big <laughs> containers like this. Then I can go later and I can sort them out if I need to. But actually, I don't. <laughs> I just go through them and, and uh, pick things up as for color and texture as I need them. With the way my brain works, I like to go through it because. If I go in that one jar of the certain size, then I might miss the piece of yellow, mustard yellow there. And it's like, well, maybe that's better. So there's just one where I've just woven some things, um, done some embroidery on that one. You know, just to, you know, be free with it. And, be and because you haven't invested a lot of money uh, into it, you know, so it doesn't work. You know, to take it apart and do it again or, you know, try to figure out a way to, to make it work. No um, disrespect to the people who, who don't like to work that way because there are a lot of people who want to buy all new stuff and um, and cut it in geometrically and be in very control. Those are beautiful, they're, they're wonderful. Um, but I think what's nice about if you're interested in, in taking your scraps and stuff is that you really have to kind of throw rules out the window sometimes and just sort of see, see what works because it will surprise you that when you try to do something, of course, statistically, that's, you know, things aren't going to work, but you'll be surprised at how many times it does work and it's going to be better than you thought it was. It, that certainly have been, has been my experience. I started off actually with really basic things like, you know, when I was a kid, you know, you would make sachets out of lavender. And so that's what I did with this one. So those squenchy things. This one was just using a scrap of polyester. It was an old scarf. These have like the, the odd sock. So just sort of bunching it around like that. And then I just, as I had my scraps, I would just sew on bits on it. So then you overlap them and till it basically looked like it was done. That was kind of fun. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm thinking, uh, sort of that unity and multiplicity kind of thing. Like if I get maybe about, you know, nine of them, you could be in a nice bowl, it would look nice. <laughs> That's sort of an art thing. I love repurposing uh, old socks. So we've got a couple of examples here and uh, always saving um, um, buttons. Just recently I got into this idea of making little tiny, tiny creatures. This. this is sort of using a quilting idea um, and uh, just basically, you know, stitch, stitch through it, patch stuff up. I had a bunch of really small pieces that were still nice fabric, uh, but I didn't know what to do with it. So that's just put little circles in around that and just decided to, here's another one too, stitched around it. And um, I had an old pair of pants and that's what this stuff is. So that's just using a coiled rope, cut up old uh, t-shirts into strips and uh, sort of coil those around like that. And what that is, is that's just old thread, just a whole bunch of thread. And I'm just bringing it in through here like this. Don't throw anything away. And it's amazing how you can make sort of humble um, stuff that other people don't see the beauty in, in making it into something that's, uh, that's, uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing and uh, in some cases quite useful. Mm -hmm. You know, the morning I, I decided to make this doll, this doll was not in my mind. You kind of let the fabric decide what you're going to do, right? So um, that's really, that's well, that's the fun. 